Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Kogulas Nation. My name is Secret Agent Nixon of Kogulas. I'm the founder and the director of the Kogulas Industry Spy Network and the Kogulas Nation. My apologies for the voice crack. Now, there were a lot of comments that I have seen in previous YouTube videos, and we had to respond to all of these comments. Our apologies. We will be making sure to look for comments in the future. We will have to use our Linux PC because we cannot see our comments for some reason when I use my iPad. Some weird stuff going on with our internet and because we have a firewall. Excuses aside, ladies and gentlemen, this user, whose name is on screen right now, had a burning question. How do you play VRChat on Linux in open source software? I will be answering that question and more today because I am a modded VRChat player. Now, one thing to keep in mind before we get started, I assume you already are using Linux. Any Linux distribution will work. I will be doing this on Linux Mint. I will also assume you have Wine installed. If you do not, you will need to go about installing Wine on your system. For me, I just have Wine HQ in some cases. Now, before we get started, there are other dependencies that we will be downloading. Again, I will be using an Ubuntu-based distribution, so if you use Ubuntu-based, you can follow me. We will be doing sudo apt install wine tricks, if I can get it right, and hit x. For those of you that are new to Ubuntu, apt is synaptic, that's your package manager. This is the install flag, which will install these two packages. Wine tricks is a package that will work around common problems and bugs with wine. And pip x is basically a version of pip. Pip is the Python package manager. I believe it's the package manager for Python. But if you're using an arch based distribution, like Monjaro or Garud, the two I recommend, then it'll be sudo pacman dash s, and then it'll probably be wine tricks and pip x. If not, then it may end up being yay dash capital S, wine tricks and pip x. That really depends on the situation though. It may be a bit of both, but since I'm using Ubuntu based, it'll be apt install for me. Originally, before 2004 LTS, it would be apt get, but apt get is now redundant. You just need apt. That being said, you will be installing wine tricks and pip x. I have already done so, but you'll hit enter, enter your password, and then you'll install as usual. If there are any dependencies, the dependencies will also be installed. Now, once you use sudo, you do not need to worry, and I do mean you do not need to worry about entering your password again. Now, with that comes this command, sudo pip x install proton tricks. You will need wine tricks as a dependency to install proton tricks. And once proton tricks is installed, you should be good to go for the next steps. This is interesting because if you know APT a little bit, if you know about the command line interface for APT, you should know a little bit about the command line interface used for pip x or just pip in general. I would recommend pip x. That's what the Proton Tricks developers recommend as well. Once all of that is done, we will then go to Proton and then this is important 438100 438100 that is your app id for vr chat when you use a proton prefix and then you will want to do y cfg and look for two things the windows version you will want windows 7 or windows 8 experiment and see what works for you best that will be in, I believe, 
the tab that shows up first. You will then go to your libraries tab. And then in the drop down menu, you will want to search for version because the mod loader we will be using to install the mods called melon loader. With that, you will want to ensure version is allowed. So in the application settings, Windows version will be set to Windows 7. And then in the libraries, you will want to search for version. And then take the drop down and see, oh, version. Hit add, make sure it's down here. Hit apply and then okay. Afterwards, you should be all set to do the installation of Melon Loader. Now, Melon Loader, for those that don't know, is the Unity Mod Loader. It's an application that will load in mods for popular Unity games onto your machine, onto any Unity game. This will be included even if the game, the source code of the game is available. But most of the time, this will be for proprietary applications through the use of what are called dynamic link libraries. And VR chat mods and plugins will be using the dynamic link libraries connected to Melon Loader because that's what Melon Loader runs off of. And to install it on Linux, you will need to do the following command Proton Tricks 438100. Dash dash force VC run 2019. VC run 2019 is the flag, is the Proton Tricks and our Wine Tricks flag used to install the 2019 visual code redistributables. And then dot net 48 or 472. You will need at least 4.7.2.NET, which is 472, or 48, which is .NET 4.8. Either one will work. I personally use .NET 4.8. All of this is what you want. Now, if it's a little finicky, there are other ways you can fix this. I actually have a .NET thing for when these ways need to be fixed. Now, I've already installed all of this stuff, so I don't need to do it again. But if you haven't done that, Hit enter and follow the instructions. After these two applications, or really Windows components, are installed, you will then need to download Melon Loader. The link to Melon Loader will be in the description below, as well as the mods and the application or the mod downloader that will be used. Speaking of the mod downloader, it will be VRC Melon Assistant. Now, I have the Melon Loader Assistant on my start menu because I use Lutris for it. I'm using Lutris to run it. So that way you guys can actually see what I am doing. When you first launch VR Chat Mail Assistant, link in the description, you will need to agree to all of this. And then afterward, you will need to go into options, select your VR Chat folder, Steam Apps, Common, VR Chat. After, of course, whatever you have. And then afterwards, you can install the mods you want off of here. You can also install these DLLs into plugins or whatever. You can also install those from outside of this, AKA GitHub. There are some GitHub mods that I also installed, specifically Fafcat Restore and no detail for clienters. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have all the dependencies installed. We have all of the DLLs and other components needed installed. And we have the mod loader and the mods installed alongside the mod downloader. And now we can finally launch VR chat. And after launching VR chat, you will see a black box. That black box means that melon loader is working as it should. And with all of that, once the mods are downloaded, the game will launch and you will be able to enjoy your new found love mods. But that being said, I will be inputting this information later because ladies and gentlemen, that is all the time that I have.
for this video here on the Coheals Nation. If you like this video and want to see more like this in the future, you can do this one of four ways. You can hit the like button to show your support to the Coheals Nation, hit the subscribe button to become a member of the Coheals Nation, hit the bell icon to be notified when new episodes arrive at 2 p.m. Pacific time, either daylight or standard, depending on the time of day and the time of year. And last but not least, share this channel with your family and friends. And from this video onward, I will be in the chat for 30 minutes after these videos are released at the same time every Thursday. I will be able to answer your burning questions or respond to any comments, criticism, you name it. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you and good night.